Thank you very much, President Hamilton. The part of my speech I struggled with the most is this part here, um, the part where I try to explain how honored and humbled I am for accepting this invitation. So I'm not going to try. <laughs> but I have a question. The class of 2014 commencement speaker was Bill Clinton. <laughs> class of 2015, former Prime Minister Gordon Brown and Sheikh Nahyan our own iconic former Minister of Education. So class of 2016, what have you done? <laughs> I could very easily stand up here today and tell you all, you should seize the day, live your dreams, seek adventure, and never back down. And you know, that would all be normal. That would be par for the course. But here's the catch. You've already done all that. And you're just now graduating. So instead of me trying to inspire you, I'd like to take a few moments to tell you how you're inspiring me. You inspire me by embracing and sharing an attitude of tolerance and openness to others. At a time when so many forces in the world are seeking to create and deepen divisions, you're proving that when we engage genuinely with people from other backgrounds, we learn and we grow. We become better for it as individuals and as a society. Just as you have been instrumental in making NYU Abu Dhabi what it is today, you will shape the world of tomorrow. In your words, in your actions, and in the choices you will make. Don't ever stop being bold. Don't ever stop embracing other ideas. Don't ever stop embracing other people. But as for the uninspiring part, it is you all that have been inspiring me. Thank you and congratulations.